The next thing which we should know, whenever we do some surgeries at the temporomandibular joint, we should be more cautious about the relations of the temporomandibular joint. So, to put the relations in a nutshell, it's not easy to study all the relations, but whenever you study relations of any structure, just make it a point that you know at least two or three relations with respect to each side of the organ or a joint. So, temporomandibular joint, if this is the point of temporomandibular joint, we can just consider the relations under four headings. One, the relation which is coming medial to the joint. Two, the relation which is coming lateral to the joint. Three, the relation which is coming anterior to the joint. And four, the relation coming posterior to the joint. So, we sh then, then only we will get an idea which are the important structures lying in close contact with the joint. So, I have just uh, simplified it so that you can remember it in an easy way. Whenever we see the relation of the temporomandibular joint, we can see that one nerve and a vessel is involved in mostly all the three parts except the lateral part where we get only one nerve. So, the rest of the parts we have one nerve and a vessel except the lateral surface where we get only one nerve. So, just remember when we talk about the temporomandibular joint, you should think about a nerve and a vessel. Though we have umpteen number of relations, you can just simplify it as you should think about one nerve and a vessel in relation with the anterior, posterior and medial part of the temporomandibular joint and a nerve at the lateral aspect. So, which is the only nerve seen at the lateral aspect of the temporomandibular joint? It is the temporal branch of facial nerve. We know that you have the parotid gland here and from the inner aspect of the parotid gland the five terminal branches of the facial nerve emerging, isn't it? So, the temporal branch of facial nerve will be lying in close contact at the lateral aspect of the temporomandibular joint. So, laterally speaking you have the temporal branch of facial nerve. Now, medially speaking what are the components? The main things being one nerve and a vessel as we have already mentioned. The nerve being the chordae tympani and the vessel being the middle meningeal vessels. So, chordae tympani nerve and middle meningeal vessels comes as a relation at the medial aspect of temporomandibular joint. What about the anterior relation? Anterior relation again you have to think about a nerve and a vessel. So, which is a nerve and a vessel? Here it is very easy. Nerve and vessel has got the same name that is mesetric. Mesetric nerves and vessels come as the anterior relation of the temporomandibular joint. Now, what about the posterior relation? Posterior relation again you should think about a nerve and a vessel. Which is the nerve? The nerve here is auricular temporal nerve and the vessel here is superficial temporal vessels. So, altogether when we talk about the relation of the temporomandibular joint, we should think about the lateral relation when we articulate like this, the lateral relation, the medial relation, the anterior relation and the posterior relation of temporomandibular joint. So, only the lateral relation is having only one nerve whereas all the rest of the relations you should think about one nerve and a vessel. And if you need to add on some more points, laterally we can think about the skin, you can think about the fascia, then you have the parotid gland. So, you can add on these more points to the lateral relation. So, laterally uh, apart from the temporal branch of facial nerve, you have the skin, you have the fascia, you have the parotid gland in addition to the temporal branch of facial nerve. The rest you just think about one nerve and a vessel which is seen in close contact with the temporomandibular joint.